Our first guest, he got his start as a, a, a young graffiti artist whose styles evolved to uh, the world of gallery exhibitions. Now Rex Santiago has uh, decided to share his creativity in the hopes of raising awareness for the fight against HIV. But well, we welcome him to the show. Welcome, my brother. Thank you. How I appreciate are you? it. Thank you for having okay. me. I, you, I remember you, you know, out there back in the day, around the hip-hop days, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The yeah, early hip hop. In, yeah, I grew up yeah. in hip hop. Yes, because that that went together, hip hop and, hip -hop and, and graffiti, graffiti and everything. Yeah, yeah, that was it. It was the culture. Did you lace up the culture. subways, the trains? Yes, I did. <laughs> Your name was all over yes, the place. Yes, I huh? did. <laughs> Even right up here. There you go. The yard that's right outside the school. Yeah. So how how has it taken you from um, being a graffiti artist, lacing up all the the subway stations and and different spots that you that you saw right. to what you're doing right now? It kind of it kind of evolved. You know, my work kind of evolved. Like, as I got older, I started really, um, you know, going, going to, like, a lot of the, the high-end galleries in Manhattan, you know, mm. looking at the work there. And I had just I happened to bump into an artist that his work was just co what they call a color field. He just yeah. does color. And the way he blended his colors looked like how I blended my colors in my graffiti. Yeah, yeah. And I began following him, and I took the inspiration from seeing his stuff and incorporate it into, you know, my stuff is geometrics and abstract, and yeah. it just began to evolve, and it just kept going yeah, yeah. that way. But, you know, back in the day, if you saw, like, a space, you would claim that space? Yeah. What if somebody, what if you saw something there already? Would you paint over it? Depending on who it was. Yep. See, there was a respect amongst right. the, the, the graffiti artists, right? Right. If he was a lower-end writer, just go right yeah, over Yeah, just it. go right over the top. Now, right. what if they come and put something on top of yours? It'd go back and forth. You come back Usually, and fix it? Yeah, I come back. Usually, like, I would have the respect. You know, they would know, okay, That's give them the respect. But then it just turned out to, like, graffiti war. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, going over each other's stuff, crossing it out. Yeah, and, and you guys find the... Look, look at this piece right here. Look at this. Explain that. This piece here, this is for the, um, <clears throat> this is for the event, the fundraiser coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an abstract piece, and it's, um, it was it's titled Infected. The one red box there is titled Infected because all it takes is that little bit to be infected by the virus. Yeah, yeah. That's what that piece wow. represents. And, and that's what that, that's what yep, we that red box, right the there. one red box, it just represents just being infected. It doesn't take much. Yeah. You know, one time, it's all it takes. Wow, wow. So how did you uh, want to come in to create the awareness of HIV with, uh, your, with your work? A friend of mine, a, a friend of mine came to me, another graffiti artist from back in the days. Um, he's a photographer now, uh, Michael Dorock. He came to me, he wanted to do some kind of a show. He wanted to do a graffiti show, but I was like, a graffiti thing, I don't know, some graffiti shows, they're really not about the artwork. It's all about a bunch of guys getting together, right, which is right, cool. Right. I said, let's try a fundraiser. So he went. That, well, that would be more meaningful. Right. More it meaning would, to Exactly. So yeah. I said, let's try a fundraiser. So he said, okay, I'll get back to you. He got back to me and he said, look, I know somebody based out of Virginia owns a, runs an HIV awareness program. Mm -hmm. I said, that's perfect. Yeah. Because I lost, you know, friends and family to the virus. And uh, it just started to snowball from there. Right, right, right. But you know, I just want to go back a little bit. <clears throat> How do you pick those spots? Because some of those, those places that you guys pick are like way out of the way, like maybe on a bridge trussle or uh, a wall on a rooftop that nobody else can get to. Maybe there's a little ledge there. Yeah. There's some great art done, but yeah. how do you... It's, You're not anchoring yourself down to it's anything. It's technique, you know. It's, it's, you know, when you <clears throat> stuff like that, it's... You know, we base, we put a lot of energy into technique. Here's a spot that nobody else can get to. Right, you know, and we know that it's going to be seen. It's yeah. hard to get to, and plus it's, it'll be easier for us to get away with it. Since right. it's so hard to get to, you know what I mean? And just the technique and the thought of getting up there and, okay, how do I get up there and how do I, once I'm up there, I got to ad lib and yeah. the technique so I don't fall, this. You got somebody keeping chicken? Technique. Yeah, somebody keeping <laughs> 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 you know how that goes. Always, <laughs> always, always have a chicky, man. You got to have a chicky. You, know I mean? uh, you got to have that little bit of an edge, you know. For those of you that know that lingo, somebody's watching, watching out for you, making sure that <laughs> you have free reign. <laughs> yeah, man. Chicky's more important, man. Yeah, yeah. It's just as important as everything else. Because you don't want to worry about that. You know, you got your chicky, right, man. Did you, you use know, walkie you talkies? Paint. No. <laughs> just, yo, chicky. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, yo, yo. You know, uh, little calls like that. You know, and then it's a drop and go. Uh, you know, drop and run. Don't save the paint. Don't save it. Just drop and run. Yeah, yeah. You so know? this is a wonderful initiative that you're a part of. You know, you want to create the awareness because 
like you said, you know, our friends and family, a lot of people still yeah. dropping by the wayside. Yeah. But now, uh, with the invention of uh, new drugs, the pharmaceutical companies put cocktails out there, yep. and people are living longer with HIV. Yeah, and, and able AIDS. to, yeah, and able, and they're able to <coughs> at least. I guess put it in somewhat of a remission and where they can hold on to it and yeah. people can just live longer. Yeah. Although you know? they feel that way, you think people are still uh, acting the way the way they did before before they found out they had HIV? As far as they didn't change their habits, they're still I having st sex. Yeah. Like still, this really, you know, the awareness is that's why you have to keep going because the attitude is still out there of it's not going to happen to me. Mm. You know. Yeah. And it's, and like this generation now, a lot of the younger generation, a lot of them are being infected. A yeah. lot of them because it's like this fast paced generation now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're not paying attention to it. And they're experimenting it. with and sexuality exactly, and everything, you know? You know? Like I mean, everybody does I, when, you know. I mean, we experimented, it's, just, it's the generation. But, but now it's just more dangerous. Yeah, know? yeah, it's a little more rapid now. It's a little more, you know, because you don't know who he has been with, who he, she's been with, you know, it could have been five years ago. Could have mm -hmm. been, you know, and they, they, don't, they don't know that. And so, it just, yeah. so you want our public to know what? What do you want them to learn from your work combined with this awareness? Just to pay attention. And the one biggest thing is practice safe sex. It's simple. It's a simple solution. Yeah. But, you know, I think because it's so simple mm -hmm. that people just push it to the wayside. Yeah. Like, ah, whatever. Yeah, you I know. got the cocktail. The I moment, yeah, I'm in the moment. I can't stop. I can't just say no. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's I mean, deep. We've all been it's, there. You know, it's a serious attraction too. It's yeah, a, it is. It's like an addiction. Yeah. You know, you know you want to get with somebody. Everybody needs love. Yep. And want to, you know, experiment just. But a there's little consequences. Bit. Yes. Yes. There's consequences. That's I what think they got to realize. And also, we're trying to. Mm -hmm. There's consequences behind the actions. Yeah, and um, it's a wonderful thing that you're getting that message out because I think you know you probably can't or your organization probably can't do it by itself. It takes a team of people in every category. Yeah. Yep. to try to get that message out, you know. Yes, it does. Uh, it's a battle. It's a battle. It is. It's, it's, it's going to be an ongoing battle for, you know, from now until yeah. whenever. You so know? you got the gallery downtown. Yeah, downtown Manhattan, right in the middle of uh, Chelsea Central. That's uh -huh. big for me because that's like Chelsea. That's gallery central of New yeah. York. That's the Mecca, you know, and it happened uh -huh. to work out that way. I got a gallery out there. Yeah. Do you feel that you have arrived? You went from graffiti art to... Where all right, this is I'm just getting this out there and I'm sneaking stuff out there. I'm getting I got there. people you don't need a chicky guy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now I now I just need a, uh, an agent. You know? <laughs> that's, that's my that's my new and an chicky. investor. <laughs> right, yeah. That's my new chicky. Yeah. But no, I'm I'm on my way. I'm getting yeah. there. I'm making forward steps, forward progress. You know, mm. I just uh, two years ago I I got picked up by a major gallery. Yeah. And oh, beautiful. He's, yeah, he's um, he's based of he had he um, he's going to relaunch in New York, but he's mm -hmm. based out of Paris. Yep. He has two p galleries in Paris. Mm -hmm. He just launched one in Lebanon, in Beirut, yep. and uh, he's going to relaunch in New York. So that was big for me, and he's been kind of mentoring me over the last couple of years yeah. to get to where my work is now, uh -huh. more of abstract optical art. Yeah, you know, following guys like you know the Andy Warhols and the Victor Vassarellis of the creators of OptArt. Yeah. He's kind of mentoring me into that, that So direction. this has prompted you to get into a category of, of art. Yes. So you're looking up all these uh, well-known professional artists throughout history yeah. Yeah. and coming up with your own right. area. Exactly. I take into. that inspiration I get from them and mold it into my stuff. Beautiful. You know? All right. Give us the location again. Um, and uh, it's at the... Um, it's at the Rogue Space Gallery. Mm -hmm. It's at 526 West 26th Street, 9th floor, uh, Gallery 9F. Mm -hmm. And it's this Thursday, 6 to 9 p.m., opening night, and Friday, 6 to 9. Do you still consider yourself as a graffiti artist? Nah. You still do subways? No. Still do buildings? No. So you Only if on. I get a permission. <laughs> 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 so what do you call it now? Now I'm just an artist. You're an artist. Now I'm All just right. an artist. I'm an emerging artist. All right, there you I'm go. Making my way. Thank you so much. Artist Thank you for Rex Santiago. Me. I appreciate um, it. Give us a number where we can call you. 917 335 6346. We're going to blow up that cell phone. That's Say it fine. 917 335 6346. Artist Rick Santiago. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Bro. I appreciate it.